Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the angle of incline when you are given the force necessary to hold a, an object on an inclined surface. Okay, so what we have here is a force of 22 pounds is required to hold a 63 pound object on an incline. What angle does the incline make with the horizontal surface? So the first thing that we want to do is draw a picture to represent our inclined surface. So our inclined surface would be the hypotenuse of a right triangle. Okay, so we're trying to find this angle down here. I'm just going to call it theta. And what we have is a force going this way of 22 pounds. And we have an object that is sitting on this inclined surface. And this object weighs 63 pounds. So if we draw our direct downward motion, um, there's 63 pounds to keep it on this surface. So what's going to happen here is we need to draw another right triangle. Okay, so we're going to end up draw, drawing sorry, a line that is perpendicular. And what this is is the force that's necessary in order to keep it on, um, like perpendicular to the surface. And then we're going to have another vector here that's going to have the same magnitude because these two lines are parallel. So anytime you have parallel vectors, it's going to be the same magnitude. Okay, it's just going in a different direction. So this is also going to be a right angle since we used a right angle here. Okay, so what's going to happen is because we have two right triangles that are similar, um, this angle here is going to be the same as the angle of incline. So, and like I said, that this force to go upwards is the same as this vector force over here of 22 pounds. So since we have a right triangle, um, we can use the traditional trig rules, so Katoa. And that's how I always remember it. If it helps, write it down. Um, there's nothing wrong with having to write it down over and over again. Remember that we would use sine if we know the opposite and the hypotenuse, cosine if we know the adjacent and the hypotenuse, and tangent if we know the opposite and adjacent. So since we're talking about this angle here, that is our theta. We know the side opposite, which is 22 pounds. And then we also know the hypotenuse because our right angle is this one down here. I know my drawing could have been a little bit bigger to see it better, um, but this is my hypotenuse. So since I have opposite and hypotenuse, I'm going to use sine. So I would have sine of theta equals my opposite, which is 22, over my adjacent, which is, sorry, not my adjacent, my opposite over hypotenuse, which is sine. All right, so now that we have our ratio, all we have to do is use the inverse sine in order to find theta. So we could say that theta is equal to the inverse sine of 22 divided by 63. And then you can use any scientific calculator to help you find your angle. Um, for this one, I'm just going to round it to the nearest tenth. Okay, so in your calculator for inverse sine, this one is just an online calculator that I'm using. It's a free calculator called desmos.com. Um, you can use any scientific calculator, but what you're going to look for is the inverse sine, so sine to the negative 1 power. And then I'll go back to my keypad, and we will type in 22 divided by 63. And then when you hit enter, you can see that it's 20.4. I already knew my calculator was in degree mode, but do make sure that you are in degree mode because if you are in radian mode, it does give you a very different answer. So make sure that you are in degrees for this. So we can say that it's approximately 20.4 degrees. So for this, all it is is using traditional right triangle trig. Setting up your figure will help you to be able to see how to set up your ratio. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.